Okay, the first problem says a source generates waves on a lake. The speed of the waves is 5.5 meters per second and the crest to crest separation is 2.3 meters. If you're in a boat heading towards the source at 3.3 meters per second, what frequency do you observe? What frequency do you observe? So that's basically a Doppler shift problem. You have a source sending out waves at, at a certain uh, speed uh, and I'm racing toward the source in a boat and of course I'm not going to see the, the, uh, the frequency coming out of the source because I'm crossing those crests and troughs faster than I otherwise would, which means I'm going to see, uh, in this case, a higher frequency because I'm racing toward the source. I'm going to see more oscillations per second coming through me as I'm cutting across those things faster, and so I'm going to see a higher frequency. So if I wanted to draw a picture, I would have a source, which by the way is not moving. It doesn't say it's moving in the problem, so he's emitting these nice, evenly spaced, spherical wave fronts like this and they're coming going out there and we all we have some information these waves are moving out at a speed of um, what was it 5.5 meters per second right and uh, it also tells us that the crest to crest separation is 2.3 meters that is code for you to realize as you read this that that's giving you the wavelength right the wavelength crest to crest separation think about it crest to crest that's one wavelength separation so that's telling you that the distance basically between here and here is one wavelength and that's 2.3 meters so we'll see how we use that in a second and then finally I'm in a boat I'm in a high-speed power boat or something and I'm driving towards the uh, guy so the detector which is me in the boat is traveling at 3.3 meters per second going towards the source. So of course I'm going to see a higher frequency and that's what we know we're going to need to to do here. But notice that um, Doppler shift, the equation of Doppler shift, let's write it down here, the granddaddy equation, the shifted frequency is going to equal the original frequency of the source multiplied by V plus or minus the velocity of the detector divided by V minus plus the velocity of the source. That's the Doppler shifted uh, uh, master equation that I'm going to use in all these problems. But notice, wavelength is not in here at all. I need to know the initial frequency. But I don't have that. I have the wavelength. But don't worry about it because you know V is always equal to F lambda. That's one of the most important uh, equations in here. And so you can calculate this. The speed of the wave, in this case we're not talking about sound wave, we're talking about a water wave. So it's 5.5 meters per second. F times lambda, lambda is 2.3 meters. So the frequency as you divide 5.5 divided by this uh, is going to give you 2.4 hertz. So that's the native frequency. That is what goes in here. So let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and put that here. 2.4 hertz. So 2.4 goes out in front. Now one more thing let's do. Notice that the detector is moving but the source is not so really it's going to be velocity of the detector is here and you'll have v on the bottom the speed of the waves but v sub s the velocity of the source is zero so you can just drop it out you see this is the equation that we had like in, in one of those other cases but you don't have to memorize it you just stick a zero in there and you're good to go all right now let's plug in our numbers and see what the answer is going to be the shifted frequency is 2.4 times the speed V is the speed of the wave, 5.5. I'm not going to do minus or plus yet. I'm going to do that later. Velocity of the detector is 3.3 meters per second. And on the bottom, it's just the speed of the wave, which is again 5.5. Now, after I've got all the numbers here, I need to choose plus or minus. Now, the boat is racing toward the source. We already said that should produce a higher frequency. So I need a higher frequency here. The only way I can do that by choosing minus plus is to put a plus here. That's going to raise the, the numerator, raise the value of this fraction, increase my frequency. So now it's just calculator, right? 2.4 times this, 5.5 uh, plus this divided by this is going to give you 1.6. So the Doppler shifted frequency is going to be 3.8 hertz, right? And you, have, you always should do a sanity check with these problems. Does it make sense? 3.8 is indeed higher than the initial frequency of the source that's actually coming out, which is 2.4. So if I'm racing in a boat, 
uh, toward the source, I'm going to actually see the wave crest and troughs passing me in such a way that I see 3.3 cycles per second. These waves are going to seemingly pass me faster, and so I'm going to have a seemingly higher frequency because of that happening than it was actually coming out of the source.